So we're going to check the power steering fluid and we located the power steering fluid reservoir. This is part of the pump assembly and we removed the dipstick and you can see there is nothing on this dipstick at all. So there is no minimum, no maximum. And if I was to shine a light in there, you can see it's pretty low with the fluid level. If you check on the side here, there's a couple of reference lines that we can even refer to for max and minimum level. So we're going to add some power steering fluid. And we've looked up online with a computer and it says that it needs to meet GM specifications, which we have some fluid here that meets the General Motors specifications. And we're going to add some of this fluid in and I'm going to fill it until it reaches the bottom line here. So I can kind of monitor what's happening by looking at the clear tank here as I'm adding some more fluid. And then I check with my dipstick. Notice that's dry. And I'm gonna twist this back in. And the cap here lock it then i remove it and you can see i'm barely at the very bottom of that dipstick so i want to go to the full level so again i can use the reference lines in this case so if i shine my light here i can go to the full level which is almost right there you can kind of see the levels with the light the light there and as i'm adding more of that fluid i can see i'm in the safe zone i can wipe the dipstick clean so i'm wiping that clean i'm putting that in i'm checking again to make sure that the fluid level is full and you can see it's went up to the full mark and I've added the correct amount of power steering fluid to this car. We do not want to overfill the fluid level. And that's why it's important if there's some reference tabs on the side to make sure it's within those lines. The, the add and full lines. Some vehicles have a dipstick, some don't and we just want to make sure that it's properly filled.